What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. So this week I'm super excited to make this video. The newest version of Vertex Tools from TomTom Tom has come out. Um, as a lot of you know, Vertex Tools is a vertex modeling and editing extension that really kind of adds to the modeling tool set inside of SketchUp. So SketchUp in general is more designed to do like lines and faces and other things like that, but it doesn't really focus on vertices too much. This tool allows you to actually use those vertices as a part of your modeling process as well. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so you can find this extension by going to TomTom's website, which I will link to in the notes down below. I'm going to the Vertex Tools tab. So Vertex Tools is a $40 cost or if you have version one, you get a 50% discount on that to update to this new version. And so I'm really excited to see this. I think this uh, extension has been around for like 10 years or something like that. So seeing this uh, seeing this get updated is super exciting for me. Um, I will note when you go on this page, um, there's notes in here about the new features, which we'll talk about in a minute. And there's also a detailed manual that you can click on that'll talk you through exactly how each one of the tools work, other things like that. But for now, let's take a look at what's new in this newest version. So the first thing we're going to look at is when you first bring this in, um, this brings in three tool sets now, or toolbars instead of just one. So there's the transform toolbar, which is where you're going to access things like the menu that's now on the side um, and the other tools for actually um, moving and scaling vertices. There's also the edit, which contains your tools like merging and uh, making planar and uh, also some of the new tools like relaxing vertices. And then finally, there's this third menu, which theoretically has a name, but I can't see what it is, that contains things like poking, which is adding vertices, um, the new bevel tool, other things like that. So some additional tools over here in this other toolbar. Now all the information um, about the way like your selection works and some relaxation tools and the gizmo, these are all now contained um, in a toolbar that shows up on the left-hand side of your screen. You can also right-click on this and set this to dock to the right-hand side as well if you prefer that. But now all of these are contained in here. I think this is an upgrade, especially having a box for the soft selection radius. And so if you remember in Vertex Tools, what you do is you select different vertices and then you edit them using the gizmo. There's some other tools in here as well, but you do a lot with the gizmo. So you kind of move these around. Well, there's some things like the soft selection radius that I think some people kind of struggled with in the first one. It was just kind of a little box in the lower right hand corner. Now you just click in here, you just type in a value. So like 60 inches or something like that. And now you can adjust your soft selection so that your movement fall off is different depending on what you have selected in here. So you can use this in order to create different effects, model this in different ways, other things like that. So in addition, um, so this is also where you're gonna find all of your different selection tools. So if you wanted to do like a freehand selection, you can find all of that in here. So we'll talk a little bit more about the relax in a little bit. So now I wanted to talk about some of the things that I like in this new version. And so when you wanna start editing, all you have to do is just click on this button right here in order to toggle vertex mode on. And so one of the things I like about this is if you select um, lines or edges. Now you have the ability by holding the control key in order to extrude using this tool. So what this allows you to do is this allows you to quickly add and edit vertices in here. And so this kind of gets close to some of the other modeling styles in programs like Blender or I think 3ds Max might also do this. Or notice how you're extruding this using the vertices and it allows you to create different kinds of shapes and also adjust them really quickly. So, and one of the cool things about this is this makes quad modeling, which is something you would use for like um, subdivision style modeling or something like that really easy as well. So this tool set makes that really easy. Um, and again, all I'm doing is just uh, holding the control key and clicking and dragging in order to extrude. So you can use this to model using your vertices really easily. And so in addition, there's now the ability, and I don't think this was in the previous version, so there's now the ability to use this in order not only to extrude along um, directions using the arrows, but now there's the ability if you hold the control key to also extrude scale. So if I hold control and then click and drag on this, you can see how this is going to scale this out. If I hold shift, then this is gonna do a uniform scale out. So you can see what that allows me to do is that allows me to take some vertices and actually extrude them outward, allowing a very different kind of modeling. So I could extrude this up, do a control shift, 
click and drag in order to extrude this out, move this out. You can see how you can use this to create this kind of shape really easily. And uh, it's just really easy to do. It gets really intuitive, especially as you practice and as you get more used to it. All right, so now let's talk about some of the new tools contained inside this version. So the first tool, and a lot of these are listed on uh, TomTom's page as well. So let's go ahead and go through some of the new tools. So the first is the option for merge to picked point. And so what that means is that means you can select a number of different vertices like this, and then there's an option here for merge to point. So instead of these just merging together, which was always in there, right? You can merge these wherever you want. You can also select vertices and select this option for merge to point and you can place this point wherever you want. So you can merge all of the vertices at whatever point you want them to be at. So you can use this to more precisely merge vertices if that's something you're trying to do. Obviously this isn't great topology right here, but you get an idea of what the tool can do. So in addition, there's also a poke tool. And what the poke tool does is it allows you, and we're gonna go back to our, there we go, to our gizmo right here. So the poke tool is gonna insert new vertices. So for example, if I select these two boxes, I can click on the poke tool to insert new vertices, and then you can click and drag in order to move them up. So you can use this in order to quickly add some new geometry in here. So you could poke all of these and then click and drag in order to move them up. So you can see how adding that new geometry is fairly easy with this tool. Now I will note this seems to create tri geometry. So I'm not sure exactly how your subdivision would work on this. You probably need to be a little bit careful with that, but you can use that to add some more detail if you're looking to do that. So in addition, we now have a vertex slide tool. And if you've ever modeled in like Blender or something like that, you're probably fairly familiar with this. But the way that works is that allows you to take vertices and uh, move them around. So you basically move them along connected edges. So you just click on it and then you just mouse over one of these points and click and drag it. And you can see how you can use this to slide along this edge. So you can use this in order to edit edit this and move this along an edge rather than using the rather than using the gizmo tool which is going to distort your shape and it's going to act a little bit different and probably a better example of this if we were to take a look at it would be a shape like this one where let's say you have a vertex loop right here that goes all the way around so if you just so if you just click and drag with the gizmo, right, that's just going to move this straight up and down. And you can see how what that does is that kind of pinches some of your geometry over here. This edge isn't really being affected by anything around it. But if you use the vertex slide tool instead, so if you click on vertex slide and move this down, notice how this shape is adjusting so that you're maintaining the same proportional distance along this edge right here. So instead of using the vertex, uh, instead of using the gizmo to move this up and down, vertex slide is going to maintain the direction of this shape a lot better. So that's a really nice feature to have, um, especially if you're doing a lot of adding detail or something like that. So in addition, there's now a bridge tool. So we'll exit vertex mode for a second. So let's say we were to take this object, move it down, and then rotate it like this. There's now a tool in here where you can select these vertices. And so if you were to select all the vertices in here, there's an option now for bridge selected vertices. What that's gonna do is that's gonna create a face between the vertices that you have in here. So if you have like a gap or something like that, you can use this tool in order to bridge those edges in order to create a face so that you have a complete shape. So there's also now a tool for beveling vertices. So beveling is basically taking the corners and then um, kind of like slicing them off to create a flat face. So there's an option in here for bevel selected vertices. So what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow you to select one or multiple vertices and then click and drag. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna bevel those edges off. So you can use this to quickly add a bevel to a shape. Now I will say that this only seems to work with the actual vertices themselves. Um, there's no way to bevel the edges um, that I'm aware of. So I would say if you decide that you want to do that, you probably need more of a tool like a, like a round corner or Fredo corner or something like that. But this is a great tool for beveling off these vertices in the corners, things like that. And then the last thing I'm going to talk about is the relax tool. 
So what the relax tool does, and I've got two surfaces right here, um, one just for, um, one just so you can see what the original looked like, but what the relax tool is gonna do is it's gonna allow you to smooth the mesh by moving the vertices. And so the way that works is you wanna select your vertices that you want to relax, and then notice inside of this menu over here, there's an option for relax. And so what you can do is you can select the direction that you want to relax this along and then you can click on the relax button. Notice right here what that did is that took all of these edges and it kind of moved them up and down so that this is a smoother shape. So you can see how comparing this shape to this shape this one's a lot smoother. So you can do that across multiple different directions if you want to. So I can do that across X and Y if I want to to really kind of smooth this shape out. There's also an option in here to relax the border which is going to affect if the uh, perimeter of this selection is going to get relaxed as well. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Have you tried this extension before? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.